The Spin-Off Podcast Network. This is Kiwi is back for a brand new season with more inspiring kōrero from special guests including rugby player, father and role model TJ Peronara. My family bring me joy. Rugby brings me joy too, but it's not the same joy as my family brings me. And global dancer and choreographer Kirsten Dodgen. For some reason people think I'm very intimidating. Listen to the new season of This Is Kiwi, brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network in collaboration with Kiwi Bank. Available now wherever you get your podcasts. Kia ora, I'm Alex Casey, Senior Writer at The Spin-Off. We wouldn't exist without the ongoing support of our generous members. If you're able to, you can make a donation at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. NAIR is public interest journalism funded through New Zealand On Air. No mai, haere mai, whakatau mai rā, he kōna i pūrangi tēnei pāna ki te ao Māori me te ao huri huri. I'm Leonie Hayden. This is a podcast about being Māori in the modern world. This week, we're exploring our little corner of the vast literary universe. Welcome to Ne. At the end of 2019, I was invited to lead a workshop at the Te Ha Writers Hui with the amazing Laura O'Connell Rapira about values-based storytelling. And I also did like a panel on getting published. It was my first time at that hui. Um, and I can tell you now, I don't remember a thing that I said in either session, uh, but I was invited to participate in all the other workshops and sessions. And I remember all of those with incredible clarity. I got to write a pitch for a book of short stories in a class with Witi Himaida. I got to learn how to access memory in a workshop on memoir writing with Renee. I remember the grace of Patricia Grace and the explosion of personality that is the musician and poet Lady Fruit. Uh, but the highlight was an open mic night where the Rangatahi presented work. And the work that they read out was just so powerful that I honestly thought my chest was going to explode. And it included um, a piece by a young wahine who wrote, wrote and read something that was so beautiful but so painful that the entire room sort of stopped and surrounded this young writer and we sang and everyone cried and gave karakia until our space was okay again. And the generation divide was really fascinating too. We had these venerated authors that had found success in the mainstream and held these positions of authority in universities who grew up in a very different world, a much colder world for Māori, who, and they fought for us to have space. And then we had this cohort of kurakaupapa kids who, who didn't need to fight for that space anymore and they could create work as Māori and they probably won't need an institution to validate that work. It was our past and our future all rolled together over one weekend and that fellowship of writers and creators really made me feel like I could write anything, do anything. And it reminded me that like everything we do, even in writing, we do things our own damn way. It's a solitary discipline, but for us it still requires a community. Um, it might not be one of our traditional art forms, but when missionaries first introduced the written word in the early 19th century, Māori proved really, really quick students. There was a well-documented period before settlers outnumbered us where Māori were the more literate population. Um, there's a book by Jane McRae called From Māori Oral Traditions to Print where she writes that not only did we become literate really quickly, but just as quickly we used that skill to challenge power. We were writing letters to politicians. God, we were writing letters to Queen Victoria we had numerous newspapers in Te Reo Māori. Then in 1952, Te Ho began, which was kind of like our first lifestyle publication, if you like, made by the Māori Fairs Department, which really championed our mastery of the written word. And it published motia te and poetry and short stories. We got Hirini Mead, Peter Hurinui Jones, JC Sturm, Hone Tufare, Patricia Grace, so many others. I wasn't a good student, um, but I really loved English, or at least I did after we studied Witi Himaida's masterpiece Bully Basha in high school. And for the essay that I wrote on that book, I got my very first A. Um, and then I discovered J.C. Sturm, Jackie Sturm. 
I came across a, a copy of Dedications, a book of her poetry at the school library, and it contained the poem In Loco Parentis. Uh, Jackie Stern was adopted, I'm adopted, in the Pākehā sense, not whāngai. Um, and this poem included the following stanza. Twenty years they planted, nurtured, trained, pruned, grafted me, only to find a native plant will always a native be. Now, for me, that stanza was the hand reaching across time and space to hold mine, and that's when I realised how powerful writing is. It's not just entertainment or escapism, but it's he tapu. It's really important, um, and it can hold whakapapa together even when you didn't realise that that's what you were looking for. Um, and seeing yourself reflected within the diversity of te ao Māori not as one homogenous identity but a universe of experiences is why reading and writing is so great and it's also why we're so good at it. And nowadays that includes comic books and YA fiction and history books, sci-fi, crime thrillers. You know, I'd love to see maybe more romance novels or maybe I should just write them myself. I don't know. But on that terrifying note... Uh, coming up next, Tekuru Mediana and I will get into our favourite books and authors in Te Reo and in English. And Tekuru will be talking to our Manuhiri for the day about the mammoth task of translating 100 popular fiction books into Te Reo Māori. We'll be right back after this. Okay, I am joined by my co-pilots, co-stars, co-hosts, Tukuru Otemarama Jews and Mariana Johnson. We're going to have a yarn about books we love, authors we love, are we reading enough, what are the first books that we saw ourselves in, etc. Kia ora kōrua. Kia ora. Um, books, 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 books. Do you guys have a favourite book by a Māori author? My favourite real Māori book by a Māori author is um, Ngā Waituhi o Rehua by Dame, the late Dame Katerina Teheikoko Mataira, and it's a fictional story. She just creates a whole other world where a group of people, rangatahi, leave Earth. They have to leave Earth because of the circ- circumstances that they find themselves oh. in, and you're just in this, yeah, it's a, it's just an awesome, I don't want to really talk about it too much, but in terms <laughs> of- um, it's escapism or, you know, I, I just, it amazes me how she, uh, you know, she's an author of many books and I grew up with a lot of her books and, you know, being the matriarch of the Kurakaupapa Māori movement, mm. we're all avid uh, pononga followers of hers. So it's probably only natural that this book is up my alley. She wrote it for for those of us yeah. who, who went through the kura system, and it's just it just speaks to me on a number of levels. You mm. were big up seeing it yesterday, like it's like there's no other book on this level. What I mean, what is out there for kura kaupapa kids? What's the range of genres like? Well, that's what uh, Panya Papa talks about with Kotahiro Puka Puka mm. being, um, you know, one of the motivations behind it is providing a high level of um, real Māori literature, which includes um, kōrero pono as well, non-fiction, which was the first issue by Tati Moti. But um, a lot of the other publications so far have been fiction, and it's just trying to stimulate their interest to keep them engaged mm. in reading uh, and learning te reo Māori. So, so there is a growing corpus of te reo Māori literature mm. aimed at that group of, of uh, wānanga graduates, um, reo rua Speakers who want to improve their proficiency and those kura kaupapa, um, kura aibi mm. graduates as well. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's few and far between, but if you really look, they're, they're around. Mm. Uh, and the ones that have been produced are really good because, you know, that's that's the standard that we have mm. as Māori writers. It's cool how they're translating classics as well or, you know, books that, you know, um, for instance, The Alchemist, um, which has been translated by Hemi Kelly to, um, to Ruanuku. I mean, I am hoping to get to a point where I can read it, but it's quite cool. Like I've had a little titiro and um, because I know the alchemist and the content of the alchemist is like tino mama, but, you know, obviously very profound. But in terms of expression in English, um, I feel like you can kind of see, like knowing the book in English and then looking at it in te reo, I'm like, mm. oh, okay, that's cool. Um, so I think that's really awesome, particularly when you're reo or still learning. Um, and I love how... They're translating, you know, really well-read, well-known books as well as our own. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, it's such a cool copa. Party porter. <laughs> that Party tracks. porter. Makes me laugh every time. It was your faves, Mariana. Oh, I'm really bad at choosing favourites for anything, but um, I guess over the summer I was making a real <clears throat> deliberate effort to read Māori fiction or fiction by Māori authors set in Tau Māori. Mm. Um, and one of the best books out of that summer of reading was um, Where the Rekohu Bone Sings by um, Tina Makariti. And what I love about that Puka Puka is it really explores the complexities of Whakapapa. Mm. So there's not to give the book away too much and also probably won't do the book justice by explaining it, as <laughs> always is the case, eh? It's like when you try to explain a book, you're like, oh, no, this is not dry. as good as it is. <laughs> yeah. dry. But um, essentially there's two twins and um, one of the twins goes about reclaiming his Ngāti Mutunga, Ngāti Tama Whakapapa, um, and, but they're also Moriori. And then the uh, female twin, she feels drawn to learning more about her Moriori uh, side and obviously, um, if people are vaguely familiar with the pakanga, the whawhai, um on the Chathams, on the Kohu, they'll know that Ngāti Tama, Ngāti Mutunga, you know, they came in and, and things went down. Um, and so it's quite interesting and exploring that through twins and how mm. they sort of both go different ways. But it's just also beautifully written. Oh. Um, she's, yeah, amazing writer. So that's probably one of my faves. The other book that I really loved um, is Behind the Tattooed Face by um, Pat Hirutonga Baker. Yeah. That's that's really quite um, confronting, though. It's There's quite a, a lot provocative of... title, eh? I know that that book was written a while ago, and I have mm. since ordered both of those books on your <laughs> recommendation. But Behind the Tattooed Face, it's really, like, It is as hardcore as it sounds. Yeah, right. It's... Um, set in the Bay of Plenty in the early 1700s and it's all about the pakanga and between the different iwi up there and it's but it's I don't know I've ne- I'd never be seen a depiction of Tal Māori pre-colonization that just felt so real mm. like I just felt like I was there I felt like I could see the palisades I felt like I was at the par it was stunning um mm. yeah I'm not I'm, I'm really curious I haven't heard in terms of like I just stumbled across that book and mate gave it to me, but I don't know if it got much acclaim or when you, to me, I suspect it could be a little bit, um, it could be a bit confronting for its time. Yeah, I, it's not a, a title that you hear much. It's not sort of listed amongst the other sort of greats, you know. You don't hear it alongside the matriarch and Ponamu Ponamu. And, and I wonder if it's because it does go into quite uh, challenging, you know, it, to, it talks about cannibalism, it talks about all of the sort of taboos oh. um, that I guess, you know, we're, we're just a way of life then, yeah. but, um, you know, it's, you know, we don't talk about that oh. stuff now. And I kind of loved it for that. I loved that mm. it was just like this is what was going on. I mean, it's historical fiction, um, but it reads very much like... How did Kupu Māori more cannibal, cannibalism? Kai tangata. Kai tangata. Hmm. Mm. Monty, Uncle Monty um, Suta, Māori historian, is writing a series oh. called Kawai, which is a historical fiction based on true events, uh, so to speak. And so, and he has um, suggested that that will be really confronting and and revealing. And not everyone it might not be everyone's cup of tea, <laughs> yeah. but um, he's I'll real read passionate. It. <laughs> yeah, fascinating. Me too. It's um, fascinating. I've read chapter one, well, a draft of, of a chapter one and a chapter two, and. I'm sure it'll change a lot before it's published, mm. but it's pretty uh, gripping, yeah. Oh, to say the least. Interesting, Carl. Why? I, I mean, um, I want to. I do want to touch on two books that. So we have decided, and, and the listeners can figure for themselves what we're talking about. There's one book, and um, we decided we're not going to mention. But the two books that I do want to mention also touch on family violence. Um, one is The Bone People by Kerry Hume and the other is um, Bex Manawatu's Owe. Both of these books, so especially Bone People, I read that sort of in my late teens and it really, um, I guess, further entrenched for me the the power of writing and the fact that it can go anywhere and it can be semi-biographical but still speak to 
everyone and um, Kitty famously only wrote the one novel and it won the Man Booker Prize and um, she is a recluse, the same as her um, protagonist from the book and it does talk about um, incredibly mum my family violence but it also, it had a subtlety that the other book uh, kind of lacked um, in terms of showing that um, aroha and violence are sometimes all wrapped up together and I found that really revealing as a reader. I'm so glad you brought up Owe because I can't believe I I was remiss in mentioning it because that is, again, can't pick favourites, but that's like top five. Right, it's so beautiful three. and it sort Phenomenal. of carries on that um, tradition, I guess, of being able to balance honesty and commentary with really great storytelling and actual compassion and aroha for everyone involved. Bex mm. Manawatu is amazing. Yeah. And the way she writes from a child's, like writes from a child's lens. Yeah. Beautiful. She, it's, it's stunning. It's so stunning. Um, she's so yeah, shy yeah. and she's so modest, though. I messaged her a couple of times about how great her book is. I, I don't think there's a bestseller in the world that is as modest as she is. Yeah. I yeah, love I that. ran into her at Verb Festival a couple of weeks back and I was like, she was like, oh, so great to meet you, Fanonga, because we're both Kaitahu. And, and then I was like, oh, where? Oh, my God. And I loved it. And Kaikoda, and I just love seeing our, you know, our whenua represented in the way you wrote. And I was just gushing as I do. And she was like, and stop. I was like, do you, are you okay? yeah, she's like, please stop. Please, please stop. That's typical writers, yeah. though. Eh? <laughs> You'll like this book, uh, Miriana Makorea by Dame. Katerina Te Heiko Komataira, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I don't think it's, I mean, it's definitely not in print at the moment. So if you can get your hands on it, because this is relevant to you, she wrote it with the blessing of uh, Ngai Tahu, and it's about, it's based on stories down there, and it's real Māori. It's about two young girls who, in the aftermath of a pakanga, and it's just, it's just a wicked adventure follows cool. them. Cool. And their, Should you know, we start their, a book club? Yeah, I was going to say, Tukunga Mai. <laughs> yes. A, 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 a yes, by Māori Authors Book Club. Hi, <laughs> hi. Actually, I reckon that's a cool idea. You know what? I'm going to put something on our Instagram, and I'm going to see if there are other people listening who want to make a book club with us. Read. We all read the same book. We have discussions about the book, how it made us feel. It's a plan. I would love that. Let's do it. Because I feel like as well, it's such a solitary exercise mm. reading, but actually. When you really get to appreciate it is when you talk about it with other people who've also read it. Yeah. I mean, Uh. talking about writing and talking about reading is really fun. And it is how you learn more about other things you want to write about and other things you want to read. Mm, Totally. Make a community out of it. Why not? One of the things we were going to talk about is, I mean, one of the questions we were going to ask is, are we reading enough? Mm. What are your guys... uh, reading habits like? I've definitely read a lot more as a young fella. Mm. Growing up at, at Kura, we were fortunate to have these books um, made for Kura Kaupapa, which were called Te Whare Kura. They were um, sort of MOE uh, publications or supported, and a lot of them were written by, you know, the likes of Henny Jacob and Katerina Mataira again, um, those legends of Te Reo Māori, Tautoko. There was a series called Tautoko, and these had stories of Maui and other atua. They had um, not so well known stories about, you know, the the magical nanny and her and her uh, mokopuna. Yeah. So a really diverse range. And I was yeah hard out read a lot of those. And then when I started, our parents introduced us to English later on. Um, as kids because we were immersed as children and so we took to those books my siblings and I and we really hard out read I mean like the Tomorrow When the War Began series oh, yeah. I read that like a, a bunch of times yeah. I was really into it the Lord of the Rings series that's when I was starting to surpass my brother I was, that's a bit of a competition I was like <laughs> oh yeah I'm reading the the adult books yeah. um, you're such an overachiever <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably didn't see it as a competition. He probably didn't care. But uh, well, to me, it was all about, I'm going to finish this book. But I guess with the introduction of um, social media, mm. we probably all reading a bit less, but certainly I am. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I'm the same. I was an avid reader as a kid. 
obsessed with Harry Potter. Mm. Like it was ridiculous. But I mean, I was a bored country kid, uh, so I I read all of the all seven books at least three times. Mm. Some of them more. Yeah, me too. Yeah. (laughs) And funny you say that it took it about beating your brother because I did a similar thing with my older brother who wasn't much of a reader. And mum was reading him Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. He was seven and I was five. Oh no, he was a bit older. I was seven, he was nine. And I got (laughs) whore hard with my, because I reckon I thought mum read too slow. And I was getting bored. So I just took the book myself and started reading it. (laughs) So much of it went over my head, but like, yeah. (laughs) What about you, Leonie? I, yeah, I basically read myself to sleep every night, age, I don't know, four to 30 something. Um, (laughs) And then I got a laptop. Mm. And it's so weird to think just, honestly, like I was the person who would sort of walk to work with my head in a book on the bus, getting off the bus, walking home, in bed. It was always something that you did to um, to relax. I remember like, mm. as a, at a very young age, if I had nightmares, then me and mum would sit up in bed with books until it was time to go to sleep. And so obsessed with like Narnia and heaps of really sort of dumb English stuff like Adrian Mole and the Discworld series. And I loved sci-fi and fantasy as a kid as well. Yeah. Mm. And then I got a laptop. And yeah. I started watching movies in bed instead, and then I got out of the habit. And now I'm one of those people that just reads on holiday. Yeah, mm. I'm the same. It's and then I do this great. big push over summer because I'm like, how can you call yourself a writer? You're not reading anything. <laughs> yeah. how so many I'll books? read like 10 books and then I won't read all year. Yeah. How many books can I squeeze in the summer? Yeah. I th- as a teenager, I used to read a lot of profiles. I remember one of the most influential books I read was um, a, a biography on Muhammad Ali. And nowadays, mm. You know, I'd probably I've got another book of his that his daughter wrote called The Soul of a Butterfly, which yeah. I'll I'll plug, which is one of my favorite books. But you know, nowadays there's so many docos, a Malcolm X, Martin Luther King docker, yeah. and I'll just gravitate to that, yeah. you know, and watch that and that kinda meets that need, I guess, to to keep learning about my heroes. <laughs> I used to like read for hours and now I've replaced that with watching Netflix for hours. But then occasionally <laughs> I'll get hoha and I'm like, oh, I'm sick of, because it's, it's a different experience, right? It's so passive right. and you don't really, well, at least how I like watch Netflix, you know, it's to kind of tune off. But then I've been chal- trying to challenge myself to pick up a book and read instead. Mm. And not only do you feel more relaxed, but you just feel more engaged with the content. Mm. And that's what I, I miss about reading regularly. I feel like a lot of the ways that all of us, I guess, I'm speaking for you two now, but, you know, (laughs) um, (laughs) a lot of um, people these days, we consume media really passively yeah, and it's not a very engaged process. And what I love about a book is you hold it, you touch it, you know, there's that tactile element to it. And also your mind is free to sort of conjure up images. When mm. you're watching TV, it's just given to you. Yeah. Right? It's mm. just That's like, a good point, here's actually. the world. It doesn't engage that uh, imagination state. Mm. I guess as aspiring authors, we really want to encourage our people to read more, well, especially in the coming years. And I feel like yeah. one way that we can potentially do that is by going ahead with this book club idea and <laughs> setting goals for ourselves and anyone that wants to join us, potentially. A book a month is not a big call. A yep. book every two months? Uh, no. Um, no, we a book a month. But, I mean, I love this idea for us, and it, obviously for Te Kuru, that does preclude um, advanced real Māori writing, but we're going to look into this idea of um, a book club for all to help us escape from the clutches of passive social media and Netflix consumption. Kei pai? Love it. Love it. Karawi. Kautoko tēnā kaupapa. <laughs> Perfect. Stay with us. Uh, after the break, Te Kuru is going to be joined by a hero to many. It's not Muhammad Ali, but she still floats like a butterfly and sings like a bee. He'll be joined by Panya Papa. <laughs> Kia ora, I'm Duncan Grieve, founder of The Spin-Off. You can help us keep all of The Spin-Off's award-winning journalism free for everybody by becoming a member today at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. Are you curious about how business can be better? I'm Simon Pound, and I host Business is Boring, a podcast where I caught it all with some of the most interesting people in entrepreneurship, commerce, and making things happen. Tune in to Business is Boring every Tuesday, brought to you by the Spinoff Podcast Network in partnership with Smart Business Lab.
tūhono mai anō e ngā taringa kei te whenua e are are mai ana ki tēnei kōna ipurangi, kwa tatū nei te tātara riki o te kāhui reo Māori. He maha kē ana pōtai heoa i tēnei horopaki nei ko ia te raupine o te rōpū kotahi rau puka puka e tui tui nei e raranga nei i ngā whenu maha. A e whāri ki tia ihoa e nei rauemi reo Māori, hei pānui tanga mā tātou, hei taonga, mō tātou o tira mō ngā whakatipuranga, ko pānia papa tērā, o ngāti koroki i kahukura, o ngāti mahuta, e te rangatira e pānia, te nā koe. Kē, te kuru e te nā koe o mihi, a tau ano o mihi. Nā, ki te kaupapa o te rānei, hea te matū o te kaupapa ko tahirau pukapuka. Ha, ko tā mātau e whai nei, kia puta ngā pukapuka reo Māori e kaungana te reo kei roto, tahi rau i roto i ngā tau e tū mai nei. Uh, kia rere ai te reo i roto i ngā momo pukapuka rere kē ki ngā tōpito katoa o, o tō tātau whenua nei. Koe rā te tino whāinga, ko tahi rau pukapuka i roto i te, ah, wai ka mohi o ka, ka pēwhia nei te roa o te rāua. Ai, ki o whakaaro kā pēhia te roa? Uh, e, e, e tēnei wā koa e ke ki te rima, uh, i muri i te tahi tau me te hāwhe rua tau me ki, uh, nō reira a, a, a te rā tau ka te kau anō ngā puka puka, ka whakaputaina, nō reira, te rā pea, e, i mua i te kui atanga o tēnei, koa tai ki te tahi rau, <laughs> te kau tau pea, te kau mārima tau. Kā re, ko re. Nā, ko wai, ngā, ko wai mā ngā te kāhui whakamaori, uh, kei raru i te maru o tēnei uh, whanana kei tanga. E, e wai Mariana te kaupapa nei i te kāhui kei whakamaori i ahu mai i te panekire tanga o te reo. Uh, tō tāua whare makatea te kuru uh, e mōhio ana tāua ki ngā taumata o te kounga ko whakatōkia ki roto i o tātou ngā kau e ngā koraua e te tokotoru a paewhiti. Uh, ko tātou ngā mahuetanga uh, o te rā kaupapa uh, e, e mahi nei ngā mahi. Nō no, no reira ko tāua hoa e rā o te panekire tanga uh, ko heke tū Blake uh, te tehi o ngā uh, upoko me ki o te, o te kāhui nei ngā manu tā tāriki tāui tā kupuna. Uh, ko Karina Kelly, ko Hemi Kelly, ko Jennifer Martin, ko Greg Koya, nō roto mai a koutou o te tairawhiti. Uh, ko te korau whangataua, ko Junior Silbury, ah, me te mahama, Ruth Smith, me te mahamaha noa atu. Hmm, e nei reo idols. Hmm. I e nei rā. Nā, mā wai, mā wai e nei puka puka. Uh, ko e nei puka puka, e āta whiriwhirihia nei e mātau, he taonga mā, he puka puka me ki mā te hunga e ngā kau nui ana ki te reo. Māori mai, tauiwi mai. Uh, ko te hunga e ngā kau nui ana ki te pānui, kātahi, uh, i te reo, uh, kamutu ko te, ko te whāinga, ko tā mātou e whai nei, kia uh, whakaputaina he puka puka mā te hunga taiohi, te kaumārua tau te pakeke, piki ake ana ki ngā tai pakeke a, a kaumātu ar anō. Mm. Ko ko whiria e tahi o e nei puka puka e te tāhuhu o te mā tauranga, tēnā hura hura mai i e rā whakamārama. Toko hia, uh, kua hoko nā e rātau, a uh, kātai ki hia uh, nō hoki. Ai, uh, i wai maria hoki uh, i te wā o te noho rāhui, ka whakaaro te tāhuhu uh, ki te hoko mai i e te hikape, uh, mano mano nei, uh, neke atu i te toru te kau mano puka puka ko hokona mai e te tāhuhu, hei toha toha mā rātau ki ngā tamariki reo Māori i roto i ngā kura, kaupapa kura aiwi, uh, rumaki reo e rā wāhi, uh, e, e, e whai rau e mi ai rātau i ngā wā e katiana ngā kura, e whai rau e mi kou ngā ai rātau, hei, hei pānui mā rātau. Nā reira, kua tuku na ketia. Ki awa wahira. Ai, ai, mm. te tikanga kua tai katoa e rā ki, uh, ki roto ki ngā kura me ngā kāinga o e rā tamariki i te wā mm. o te noho, noho taratahi. Nā, hea hate te uara te hirahira uh, o te rā. O, oh, taku whakapai te kuru ko te rā toru te kaumano o, o, ko hare pota te puka puka i, I hoko na rā ngā kape ono te, e, e rua te kauma ono kape e te tāhuhu. Mehe mea kata, whakatauri te hia te rā taumata o te nui o te puka puka kua hokona uh, i tēnei whenua, taku whakapai ko i nei te puka puka reo Māori tuatahi kua pēnei rawa te nui o te hokona 
uh, i ngā topi to katoa o te motu. No rei, me, me ranga hau au i tērā ko te, ko te whakatai tai pea, <laughs> ko te paipera ki te reo Māori, ko te paipera tapu ki te reo Māori. Hoi anō, mā ku te rā e ranga hau, ko i nei taku whakapai. Ah, e whakhe, he wero uh, nui tērā <laughs> ki ngā kaituhi Māori kei te motu. <laughs> ah, ko e tahi o ngā puka puka kua whakaputaina e koutou, uh, ka huri hia ka whakaputaina hei puka oro. Ne, mm-hmm. hea hai mm-hmm. ai, e, e takahi nei ai koutou i te rāra? Uh, ki āau koi rā te, te tino kura i roto i tēnei kaupapa. Uh, he puka puka te puka puka, he, he taonga anō te rā hei whera whera mā te tangata e ngā kau nui ana ki te pānui. Ko te nuinga o te ao Māori ki, ki taku whakapae i roto i aku mahi whakāko i roto i ngā tau. Kaore i te whera whera puka puka, kaore i te pānui puka puka. Uh, ko a tātou tamariki ko ngā taiohi kaore rau atu nei e pērā. Nō reira, uh, ko te puka oro te tehi huarahi e rongo ai te tangata i te atahua o te rere o te manawa taki o te whakahua tika o te reo Māori i roto, mai, I, uh, I roto i enei puka puka. Uh, nō reira kua whakaitia e ngā kaipupuru i ngā mana o enei puka puka kia hurihia a hare pota hei kōpai i tēnei wā uh, te ruānuku, te alchemist kua ka hurihia tērā hei puka oro te poea nā Michael King ka hurihia tērā hei puka oro anā, i roto i tērā kaupapa uh, te puka puka Michael King nei, uh, e wāte ana ko tahirau puka puka ki te toro ki ngā reo āiwi, ki te whakatairanga i te reo āiwi, e hāngai pū ana ki ngā kaupapa o ngā puka puka nei, nō reira, e ko aro wātua na taku ngā kau i tēnei kura ko te ora o te reo Māori o te reo kōrero o te reo whakarongo Mm, he kura rau e mi hau tērā, ne? Mm-hmm, he whakawhānui mm-hmm. ake i ngā te kōpus, te kohinga rau e mi reo Māori kei ngā tātou. Me pēhea, uh, i roto i taua whakautura i e kare wāke ai te whakāro, me pēhea tātou e whao uh, tikanga uh, hei whakapakari i era pūkenga pānui. Mm, pātai nui tēnei. Uh, ki au ko te puka oro te tehi ara pai, E, e hei poa poa i te tangata ki te puka puka, mm. te kinga momo puka puka, puka oro, puka hiko, ko ngā puka hiko anō hoki uh, e kaha ana te torohia e ngā kai, kai hoko i e nei puka puka, ka pānui ke i runga i te roro hiko i runga rā nei te waia i arata e te tari ana ki te pahi uh, i te arane. Nō reira, uh, ko era momo puka puka i nāi e nei. Uh, puka tā, puka hiko, puka oro, kei reira uh, te whānui tanga o ngā kura o tēnei kaupapa o te whakaputa puka puka ki oku nei whakaaro. Mm. Kia whakawhānui ake uh, tāua i tēnei kōrero i puta i ākoi mo te, te mauri o te reo, uh, te whakaora ake i te mm. mauri o te reo, i te hā o te reo, me pēhea tātou mm-hmm. e, e whakamana, e whakapakari i tērā tuāhua mm. i roto i ngā mahi whakarau ora reo. Ai, koi rā te tino whāinga ne, koi rā tā te kāwanatanga rautaki kia mauri ora te reo. Mm. Uh, e au i te mātā wai ko tā mātau peha kia au kai pō anō te reo. Anā, ko, ko e rā rautaki ngā tāhuhu e, e arahi nei a tātau e, 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 e tū nei hei tāhuhu arahi a tātau i rotu i ngā mahi whakarau ora i te reo. Nō reira, me pēwhe e, e, e Pakari ai, tā tātou whakapakari, whakamana, whakau i te reo i roto i a tātou, mā te kōrero, mā te whakamahi. Kaore i tū ātū i tērā, kua, kua whia tau a tīmoti e tūhi ana i ana ngeri i ana waiata mo tēnei kaupapa. Ka ora te reo ki te kōrero tia. Ana, e tai ai te kōrero me mōhio ki te whakarongo. Uh, ko te whakarongo me te pānui ngā huarahi e uru ai te reo ki roto i, I, ngā, I te hinengaro, i te whatumanoa o te tangata. Anā, ko te reo whakaputa, ko te reo kōrero, ko i rā te mātā muri o te rā tukanga. Nō reira, ki au, me, me whakapakari ake ngā huarahi, whakari te huarahi, uh, whakarongo e rongo ai te tangata ki te atahu o te reo, e pānui ai te tangata i te kounga o te reo. Mm, Ātinana. Ano hoki ne, kia kau uh-huh. e riro uh-huh. mā te puka puka noa e kore. Ai, ai, mā te pau a ka whakāta te rā mai e pīkau. <laughs> mm. Hoi anō, uh, he tāpiritanga anō, wau, wow, ki tēnei kaupapa 
whānui. Ai, e ai. E whakarapa poto nei ai, <laughs> tāua. Ai, a, a, a te rātau uh, ka whakaputaina tā witi puka puka puripā ha bulibasha, uh, ka whakare waina te rā ki te tehi, o ki tō nāno marae ki, ki waituhi a te tau e tū mai nei. Ka metu nā, nā Ruth Smith te rā i whakamaori. Mm. Nō reira, uh, ko, te, ko te toro ki roto ki ngā hapori ki roto ki ngā iwi te tehi anō o a mātou whāinga, he, he whakahaere uh, mātou kaore e utua e te kāwanatanga uh, ka riro mā, uh, ka, ka haere mātou ki te tono pūtea i awai rā nei ngā whakahaere katoa i ngā tāngata pūkoro hōhonu katoa o te, o te motu o te ao mm. hei, hei āwhi nei te kaupapa. Nō reira, haere ki te whārangi, tā mātou whārangi puka, puka uh, kau o ko te puka mata, whārangi ipurangi te pai tuku tuku ko tahirau pukapuka.org.nz uh, Kei reira te tehi huarahi e tai ai e te tangata noi ho nei o Aotearoa whānui nei te tuku uh, koha mai ki a mātou hei āwhi nei te kaupapa whānui e tere ake ai uh, tā tātou tai atu ki te tahirau pukapuka ki te reo Māori kounga Koi rā te tono te kuru ki, a, ki te hunga e, e, e whakarongo mai ana uh, ko ira, te wero e ngā iwi o te motu, koutou e, e taringa are are uh, mai ana, uh, whakatirana i te kōrero mo te tautoko i te reo, uh, mā te tautoko i tēnei kaupapa. He oi anō, he, he pātai anō, uh, te rapea hei pātai whakakapi. He aha i kōrero uh, mātou uh, o te pai nei o ne, te kōna ipurangi nei, uh, mō ngā tino puka puka i pānuitia e mātou i a mātou e, e whanake ana i a mātou mm. i tipuake ana. He aha mm. i tahi o... Uh, ngā tino puka puka e ngā kaunuiti ana e koe. Ah, i au e tamariki ana ko paunamu paunamu te puka puka tuatahi mm. e, i, I oho ai taku ngā kau Māori ki tēnei ao te pānui puka puka A te rātau, ka whaka Māori mātau uh, o tira e tehi o, o tō, tā, tō tāua whare makatea i a paunamu paunamu ki te reo Māori I tana tau rima te kau I muri te tānga tuatahitanga Nā witi o anō te rā puka puka He kohi ngā Paki, uh, poto te rā, puka puka. Mm. Ko ira te, te mea tuatahi i oho ai taku ngā kau i aweta marikiana. I au ka pake ke haere, nā te mea e kotitiana ki te tākaro, ki te, whai, ki te mahi kapahaka me rā mahi, ne? kaore i kaha pānui puka puka i ngā wā o te taiohitanga. Ka pake ke a hau, ka uru ki te pakihi, ko taku tino puka puka i, I te rā taumata o taku ao, ko Rich Dad, Poor Dad na um, <laughs> Robert Kiyosaki. Mm. He, he puka puka e hāngai ana ki te whakatupu i tō pakihi, mm. me te whakarere ke i o whakāro ki tēne mea, ki te pūtea, ki te kohi kohi pūtea, e whairanga tira tanga ai te tangata. Nō reira, mm. ko i rā e tehi o aku tino puka puka uh, i roto i, I tōku nei ao. Hei, uh, bonus pātai, uh, mā ngā hunga whakarongo, mā kua noho ki. Hea hae tahi o wāu ake rautaki reo e noho ai koe ki te e whao ai koe i te tahi ao e noho ai koe ki te tahi miru miru reo Māori uh, mm. e whai wahi hoki ai koe ki te pānui. Ka āta mm. uh, rāhuitia e koe he wā pānui puka puka rāne? Uh, kua kaha pērā hau mō ngā puka oro, he mā mā ke ki au te whakarongo me te hī koe i runga i te treadmill i te wākotahi, tēnā mm. i te pānui i te puka puka me te, me te hī koe i te wākotahi. Nō reira, he pērā hau he wahine uh, ka hia hia hau ki te mahi ngā mea e Rua i te wākotahi. <laughs> Nā, koi rā, ko, te tehi o aku rautaki i, I tēnei wā nei, ko te whiriwhiri puka oro rawe, hei whakaoho i te hinengaro, i te ngākau, i au e mahi ana i te tehi atu mahi e o rā i te tinana. Mm. Uh, I tū atu i tērā me tatari au ki ngā rā o mātiti, o rau mati e wāte ai au ki te āta whera whera puka puka. Ko Sunny Bill Williams te puka puka kei taku uh, tēpu i te taho te moenga i tēnei wā, hei pānui yeah. māku i te rau mati, uh, ka kimi hi a te tehi kai whaka Māori mo te rā te rā tau. Mm, ka rawe, uh, ka au e tahi tūtohu uh, ka whakapātsu au ki a koe ka hei, ngā, hei ngā rangi e te mai nei. Ora, ka pai. Uh, hoi anō uh, e te māreikura tēnā koe e rā kōrero o tira koutou ngā manu o te, te māra o tāne e koe koe ana, e kete kete ana e kuku ana uh, kia ora ai te mauri o te reo a koutou e whakauru ana i o koutou katoa ki e nei kaupapa whakarau ora uh, i tō tātou reo rangatira e mihi atu ana ki a koe. Tēnā koe te kuru, tēnā koutou. 
kātia ke rāi hika mā, ki a toi tū te mauri o te reo, ki a tau ai te mauri, ki runga ki a tātou katoa. NAIR is public interest journalism funded through New Zealand On Air and brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network. It was hosted and researched by Leonie Hayden with Te Kuru Jews and Mariana Johnson. NAIR was produced by Te Aihe Butler with senior production from Jane Yee and project management from Mark Kelleher. Talo for lover. I'm Madeline Chapman, editor at The Spin-Off. If you have the means, consider supporting our high-quality journalism by becoming a Spin-Off member. Sign up now at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. Kia ora e te iwi, te Aihe Butler here, podcast manager at The Spin-Off. If you enjoy listening to our podcasts, consider supporting our mahi by signing up to become a Spin-Off member at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. The Spin-Off Podcast Network.